got some baking cooking over here. We're going to make some chocolate chip muffins and some blueberry muffins. We're going to do half chocolate chip, half blueberry. I've got four tablespoons of melted butter in here and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Now we're going to put in one cup of sugar. Alright, we'll mix all of this together. Okay, we're putting in one egg and one egg white. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And half a cup of buttermilk. Alright, so that's all the wet ingredients. We're going to set this over to the side. We have visitors this morning. They were right here at the door a second ago. They like to come say hey when we let them out. And here we're going to put one cup and three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And here's where you put in your blueberries or your chocolate chips. I'm going to go ahead and put the wet ingredients in though, and then we'll add, you know, we'll separate it and add the blueberries and the chocolate chips since I'm doing two different kinds. It's a little while later now. It is so cloudy outside today. It looks like it is about to pour down rain like crazy, but it's not supposed to rain until tomorrow morning. Titus and the boys have plans to do some stuff outside today, so I hope it doesn't rain. They're going to be working on sanding that cow trailer I was telling y'all about yesterday and cleaning up the yard a little bit. We have some extra trash that needs to be taken off that can't really, I mean, I guess it could go on trash day. It's like a big tin can that's, you know, the tin can. Well, it's not the trash can, but it's a tin feed can that we kept the chicken feed and stuff in but some wild animal smushed it and just completely smushed it in also they did that to a trash can that's why we thought it was probably a bear not a raccoon but all we got on the video you know was raccoon <laughs> anyway hopefully they can get that stuff done today and it doesn't start raining like i said it's not supposed to but it looks like it could at any minute Jonah and cece are going outside now i'm going to take manly out to play i think that the temperature is supposed to drop a little bit too today it feels pretty nice out there right now but i think it's supposed to get colder as the rain's coming in for tomorrow Here's the trailer they've been out here sanding and working on for, I don't even know, about a week now, I guess. It was blue, like almost my favorite color, like a greenish blue color. I hear Miss Turkey. <laughs> We're getting your bucket. Everybody's waiting patiently. Mrs. Huh? Turkey, Mrs. Feather. Oh, He's trying is. to put it back on. <laughs> Put that one in there with the real ducks. Um, they <laughs> yeah, they're plastic. <laughs> Jonah tried to trick me with the leather snake again. Guess it's time to take down the bows. Yeah. We'll wait on the garland and the wreaths until I get another container because I'm going to put all the outdoor stuff in a box, which it's not a lot. It's just this, but we'll just need a small box. Well, by the time you wrap all this stuff up, though, it's actually bigger than it looks.
It is now several hours later. <laughs> we're about to make some pretzel brownie bars. I don't have to cook supper tonight because we're having leftovers. We had a lot of that Southwest chicken taco mix leftover that we made last night. So that's what's for supper. I'm just gonna heat that up in a little bit. For dessert, we're having these brownie bars. We need a cup and a half of crushed pretzels and I need to save just a few of them to sprinkle on the top of the brownies when they get done. So I'm using this double chocolate brownie mix that we got from Aldi the other day. It looks really good. It kind of looks like the, um, what's that really good brownie mix? Can't even think of what it's called. I'll pop a picture. So I'm gonna put these pretzels in the mini food chopper and only keep enough, like I said, just to sprinkle on the top. There we go. We have some still, you know, kind of big pieces and some really, really ground up. Okay, so now I need to melt half a cup of butter. I'm using unsalted. I have half a stick here, maybe a little more than half a stick, and then we'll use some of this butter that we made. It's gonna be about right, maybe just a little bit more. So I'm gonna melt this in the microwave real quick. We're gonna need a nine by 13 pan, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. We're gonna pour this in here with the melted butter and a fourth of a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna spray my nine by 13 pan over here. We'll mix this all together and then we're just gonna press it down into this pan. So this is kind of like the crust that you would make for the strawberry pretzel salad, which is amazing. I love that thing. All right, in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer for eight. No, they're not done yet. I'm still making them. We got the crust done. So we took all the Christmas stuff down yesterday, except for the tree and any garland and lit up things like that other little tree. Oh, and we haven't taken down the wreath yet. And I left that red lantern up there because I just feel like it looks kind of wintry, you know? It's red, but it's a dark red. So I did leave some stuff over here, like the hot cocoa sign and then this little winter lantern. Well, I say lantern, but it's just like a glass jar light like that and i left this string of lights in the back and anything that was just you know winter like i did leave this fresh baked gingerbread bakery turn my little light string on back there i left this little hot cocoa bar thing and the snowman mugs and just some hot cocoa sprinkles and stuff like that and then in this corner i left the white deer up there because it just looks winter like it's just white and has some golden antlers sparkly antlers i left this little tree here and these two here because they're just you know they're just looking like winter trees i did leave the red truck candle because i'm going to try to finish burning this candle and i left mr snowman there here's the crust it smells so good like you have to just stay away from it you just want to eat a little piece of the crust all right for the brownie mixture we're going to put in the pack of brownie mix i'm going to need the bigger bowl y'all hold up okay smell that on my smelly nose. You smelled it on your smelly nose. <laughs> okay, we've got the one bag of brownie mix. We're putting in one fourth of a cup of water, two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. Two thirds. Two eggs, and I'm gonna whisk them a little bit before I add them in here. Is it done yet? Not yet, we're about to put them in the oven. It's gonna be a little while after supper, they'll be ready. We're gonna pour this over the crust. Okay, so now this goes back in the oven for about 25 minutes until it's cooked through. Then we let it cool for one hour before we put the frosting on top. host here guys, <laughs> boss tonight. I didn't make this either, but we're gonna try a bite of this here. It looks like we got some good frosting going on. Good. What about that crust? Sweet. 
Lord. Salty. Everything. A little milk. Mm -hmm. Is this what we're reading tonight? Yeah, a bear. A bear book? Okay. Crocodiles and alligators have more than 60 snapping teeth. Alligators can stick out their tongues, but crocodiles can't. <gasps> Did you know that? Yeah. 